All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be watching Stranger Things season two, episode two, episode two. Now, in the last episode, we got introduced to Maxine or Mad Max. Now, she broke the record in the arcade that Dustin's been holding for a pretty long time. But then we also kind of found out. We also low key got introduced to Billy, not like a formal introduction, but just like saw who he was, kind of saw how he interacted with Max, and it's very toxic. So she goes to the arcade to de-stress and get away from him. But he's the one that has to drop her off because he can drive and she can't. So we know it's her brother and we know it's a very toxic situation. But that's all we know so far. And it has been and yes, Will is still getting episodes of the Upside Down. He's seeing people about it, but these people are mad fucking sus. And I think they're still trying to experiment on all this shit. Now, it looked like they were trying to close the gateway by burning it with a flamethrower. I don't know if they're still trying to go into it. I it's. I'm pretty sure they're trying to shut that shit off. And I think that's why Will's getting his episodes because it's still open. So as long as it's open, he's still going to get them. So, and then we also found out Eleven is with Hopper. He's been taking care of her for a while and she has hair now. So yeah, it's been a while. And at the beginning of last episode, we we kind of saw like a little, little tease of someone who also has, who can also control things with their mind. Now, it seems like they were more telepathic and not really telekinetic. Now, well... She was moving cars in the beginning, I think, like, swerving out of their way. And she did collapse a tunnel, but it didn't actually happen. It was in that guy's mind. So, I mean, she's telepathic. So, I'm just assuming she's both. You know, but she was bleeding out of her nose. So, she's just like Eleven. But it seems like she's a little bit more powerful than Eleven. Not, like, powerful, but she's she's controlled her powers a little bit more than Eleven has. Because she it seems like she was able to do a lot more with it. And she's not really using her powers for a good thing. It it seems like they're robbing a bank. So there's more people like Eleven out there. I guess we got to find them. And then we saw another character. He was talking to Hopper, but it turns out he's a private investigator or he's a detective that was hired by Bob by Barb's parents to find Barb. Now, the thing is, he's very expensive. So Barb's parents are selling their damn house in, able, in, in order to afford this investigator, right? But it's kind of fucked up because we know what happened to Barb. We know she's actually dead. And her parents don't, you know, they think I'm, it seems like since uh, Joyce was able to find Will, that gave Barb's parents a lot of hope thinking like, oh, well, they found Will so we can find Barb too. She has to be out there somewhere, you know, but they don't know anything about the upside down. So it's like Nancy could tell her, but it's kind of a lot to explain. And I feel like, if you try and explain that to them, like oh, the upside down and all that shit, they're gonna they're gonna honestly probably be insulted. They're gonna be like, "Do you think we're fucking dumb? Like, why are you lying to me right now?" You know. So that's probably why Nancy's not telling them. And also, but Nancy does feel guilty about it because she was crying in the bathroom. So, and the investigator is he has okay the story he came up with from doing like his investigating. It's not bad. It's pretty damn close to like what actually happened, except he's missing the upside down part of it. But obviously he has no fucking idea about that. So his story is a little bit different. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you wanna watch the full length uncut version of this reaction, that would be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna find out what happened to her after she fucking disappeared with the monster or not oh. ah! Ah! Mike's not here Ooh. oh yeah she can't expose herself to them oh Gotta dive through that. <sighs> Dolphin dive through it. R R just use your mind. <laughs> yeah, that works too. Okay, she got out pretty fast. <gasps> Ooh. Yep, that's right. Oh, she has no fear. And even if I did, I'd never tell you. <laughs> I would never tell you. <laughs> oh my god, Mike's, Mike would never fall. I told you were not true. She's a very dangerous individual. 
If she contacts you, you must tell us. Oh, oh, now it looks like Mike's working with the ops. <gasps> Your family at risk. Do you understand, Mike? Ah, oh, now she feels betrayed. Damn. She's terrified. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Ghost. Yeah, bull. <laughs> Who wouldn't see you? The bad men. What are you talking about? Uh, if she's in there, they won't. Yeah. She wants to go trick or treating, Hopper. Come on, Dad. There, all right? You go out there, ghost or not, it's a risk. Yeah. Your food's getting cold. Damn. I mean, uh, yeah, she wants to have fun, but, like, you can't risk it. <sighs> now, Hop now Hopper has to be a dad. I get off early tonight and. 515? 515. Yeah. I love how she says it like that. Promise. It's adorable. Halfway happy. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Joyce should be her mom. Joyce would be the best mom ever. Where's Will? What? Oh no. Where's Will? He's not in his room? No. He's probably just outside. Oh. What are you doing? Peeing? Oh yeah, dude, she couldn't find him for like one second and she tweaks. Dude, I would too if I was her. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit. Will, what the fuck is this? Do you have another episode? No, it's just um a sketch for a story I'm writing. Mm-hmm. Alright. Three, two. Dude, that drawing's gonna fire. Wait, hold on. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Wait, I've actually never seen Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Mike. Mike's a me, bro. No. <laughs> I'm literally Mike. Dude, I'm surprised they weren't like they didn't do Star Wars because like they referenced the fuck out of it in season one. No one wants to be Winston, man. What's wrong with Winston? What's yeah, what's wrong with Winston? Yeah, but he's so cool. If he's cool, then you be Winston. I can't. Fuck no, I don't want to be Winston. Cause fuck Winston. <laughs> why is no one else wearing costumes? Oh, that's all awkward. See, that's why I never did that in school, cause I was afraid no one else would. And then I show up to school and I see everyone else wearing costumes. So I'm like, fuck. We could ask her after class. Yup. Okay. Me. <laughs> Why would he lie to me? He's a kid, Joyce. Why are you? He's embarrassed. Nothing's gonna go back to the way that it was. As it was. Shout out, Harry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Imagine he's just been smoking weed, <laughs> not a cigarette. <laughs> I think they have. I think they have chemistry, guys. Oh, uh, he definitely likes her. God, I want this to be over. I know. And the situation's bringing them back together. But she's with Bob. But mm -hmm. they have a past, obviously. Oh, can't do homework now. Gotta go home. <laughs> Well, you know that we can't do that. We don't have to tell them everything. You kind of have to tell them everything. If they found out that we told and Yeah. Bro, where was this kind of love when I was a teenager? What the fuck? Nothing even close to that happened to me. What die alone. Opens and closes. Look, look, look. <gasps> <Wow. laughs> cool, right? She's she's impressed. Probably don't have any friends to take you trick or treating, and you're. <laughs> it would be okay if you come with us. It'd be okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, it would just be okay if you came with us. It wouldn't be cool. It would just be okay. That's presumptuous of you. <laughs> yeah. Totally. They don't know what that means. <laughs> Inhuman. Oh, Terminator came out. Wait. 
The movie came out in the last episode. How's it already in TV? I think it was the last episode that it showed the Terminator on the movie theater. Big gust. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Learning. What? The, oh my god. She fucking murdered that squirrel. R.I.P. Damn. Okay, if she she lived in a lab, where did she learn to start a fire? And where did she learn to cook? Like, how did she know how to cook it right? I could never do that. <laughs> Oh shit, I mean, he was a witness, he had to die. She's getting flashbacks of when she was in the trenches. Your farm, because he thinks that you poisoned his, which of course you didn't. No, sir. Oh yeah. Omero didn't just hit me last night, he hit damn near everyone. What are you talking about? <sighs> Pete Freeling, Rick Neary, the, the, the Christian sins? Getting everyone. It's not, but it's not moral. Jesus, I don't care. You're late again, and you're skating home. Do you hear me? God, it's such a dick. Cow shit. I don't see any cows. Clearly, you haven't met the high school girls. Oh, fuck. Ooh. What did you say? Nothing. Say it's my fault. No. I want to know what happened. Damn. Oh, my God. Oh, not the kids. If I hit him then, huh? I get bonus points, I get them all in one go? No, Billy, stop it, stop it. Hug, Billy. Billy, come on, stop it, it's not funny! Stop! I will do it Dude, Billy, bro, was he actually gonna do it? Thank Max. Bro, Billy's actually a fucking psycho. What the hell? Ah, now Vax probably feels bad for that. Just my big, hey, sorry my brother almost killed you guys. Cute little cowboy. Is there a new monster or something? Another demigorgon? Are you ready, bud? Yeah. Wait, dude, okay, guys, is it just me, or does, like, this, this just hit me, like, when I was editing the last video, I thought Jonathan looked super fucking familiar, and, like, dude, is it just me, or does he look like Harry Styles? Not exactly, but, like, dude, the similarities are there. It's not like Nancy's coming to watch over Mike, you know? Well, Mike didn't get fucking abducted, okay? <laughs> Nine thirty. Nine. <sighs> deal. Yeah, deal. All right. Oh, that made Will so happy. Jonathan's a good older brother, though. He's trying his best to make Will happy. But if I were Jonathan, I would I would watch him from afar, though. Like, oh, he's gonna go to Tina's Halloween party, though. <laughs> All right. Well, if Joyce finds out Jonathan is not with Will, she's gonna freak the fuck out. Kid, kid! That's how you do it, Hawkins. God damn <laughs> But Billy and Max moved here from California. Uh, I can't imagine leaving California to go there. Oh, I mean, I'd fucking hate everyone and everything. We got ourselves a new cat king, Harrington. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> God, no. The egos are gonna clash. <laughs> he's fine. Hey, Jonathan's with him. Uh. Every time he's away from me, it's like I, I can't function. It's yeah. Uh, it sounds silly. I know. No, it's not silly. Well, that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> if we were to move out of Hawkins together, Ooh. wine makes me crazy. <laughs> yeah, wine makes you a fucking animal. I mean, moving to get Will out of here probably would be a good idea. Would it still affect him if they move the main? Because my theory is, it's just because it's close by. The gateway. And the gateway's open. If it was closed, then probably would go away, but... I get another Three Musketeers, I'm gonna kill myself. What's wrong with Three Same, but no Three Musketeer. <laughs> Bull and Nougat, straight up. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Holy shit, you should have seen the look on your face. What the fuck, Max? <laughs> hey, guys, coming or not? Ooh, I heard we should hit Ooh. up Block Nora. That's where the British people live, right? Oh, she wants to be their friend now. 
Oh my fucking god. Oh shit, shit, shit. What? Shit, shit. Oh, he forgot about 11. No. He was supposed to get off early. Fuck. Oh. Oh, she's gonna be so pissed. Hey, kid. Some of that candy, would you? Oh no, no, he doesn't. Have, he's supposed to get candy too. L. Oh, he's teaching her Morse code. Oh, okay. We're making fun of her because she's from California. That surfer accent, California. Okay with it. She's ruining the best night of the year. Bro, Mike's just hurt because he doesn't have his girl. <laughs> what in fucking god? Bro, that's fucked up. Break. Bro. <laughs> oh no. Bye. Fuck. Now he's alone. It's Dustin and Lucas were with Max and Mike walked away. <gasps> Party foul, bro. What the hell? Dude, he didn't do that on purpose. Like we didn't, like we didn't kill Barb. He didn't kill her directly. Like we're in love? Oh. That's what he. Bullshit. Oh, no, it's not. Not, you don't love not to me. Oh, he. Damn, he's hurt. Fuck. I fucking feel that though. One side's our world and and the other the other slides the upside down. Finally someone will can vent to and someone who will understand. <laughs> I saw something. Is it Demogorgon? No, worse. Just please don't tell the others, okay? Never. No one will understand. Never, bro. I got you. Eleven what? Oh, yeah, she would. I feel like I'm going crazy. Me too. It's okay. We all are. Me too. <laughs> hey, well, if we're both going crazy, then we'll go crazy together, right? That's my boy. <laughs> Good guy, Jonathan. Oh, she bring the TV in her room. Oh. All right. No candy for you. She's trying to contact Mike. Oh, okay, no, I think she is trying to contact Mike. So she here? Oh. <gasps> no! <laughs> Damn. Use? <laughs> well, it's not your cat. Use that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Holy sh. What the fuck is it? Alright, whatever. Alright, well, that was Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 2. Alright. Alright, so that was Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 2. Now, in this episode, it was Halloween. And I love their costumes. They all looked really good in it. Like, it actually reminded me of uh, my the best Halloween costume I ever fucking thought of. I actually never got a chance to do it because it requires a partner. But I'll put it on the screen. If you know, you know. I want to do this Halloween costume so fucking bad. But I, I don't have anyone to do it with. I don't have anyone that will do it with me. Ah, I wish I did so bad. This, this, would, be the, this would be the most good Halloween costume of all time. Cause like okay, this one, this one on the screen has already been done. 
I'm trying to do this one because this one I've never seen anyone do this. So, but yeah, in this episode we learn. Okay, so with the pumpkin patch, with the pumpkins, I think it's like, okay, there's obviously like a fucking monster doing it now. Like the portal's still open, so maybe like a okay. It didn't seem like a big monster either. It could be like another demigorgon type of thing doing all that. I'm not really too sure it's could be something like that it's definitely not an animal doing it because they're fucking it up but and like the tree had the goo on it too like you know the goo that the monster left behind before and like the goo that's on like the portal and everything so it's like it's some kind of demigorgon and and hopper's figuring it out but it made hopper stay way too late and he didn't get back to 11 so now <sighs> she's really mad at him because he didn't keep his promise and now like yeah, Hopper's just trying to be the best dad he can possibly be. You know, she needs a she needs a parent in her life, a guardian in her life. And he was like, you know what? I low-key sold her out in season one, episode eight. I I'm, I have to do this for her. I cannot let her go back to those people because they will fuck her up. So he's parenting her and like he's doing the best job he, can, he possibly can. He's doing the best job he possibly can. Now, it's hard to balance his job and a kid at the same time. So I, I get it. But still, he's trying his best. And the boys got Maxine to go trick-or-treating with them. Now, I feel like she she kind of just did it because she felt kind of bad because Billy almost fucking killed them with their car, with his car. <laughs> like, so she's like, oh, shit. And, like, they, you know, she's probably, she probably knew that they knew it was her and, like, her brother. So, I don't know. Well, now they're friends, so it doesn't matter. They went trick-or-treating. But then they kind of split up, so it made Will have another episode because, you know, he felt a little bit abandoned by everyone and everything was just happening at once as people came up to him and scared the shit out of him. You know, probably just froze. He's like, oh shit, and then it triggered it. So, but like, and he's seeing something. He's seeing like a big ass fucking spider. Like, it's not a spider, but it's like, it's what it looks like so far, you know? And he tried to explain it to Mike because he he trusts Mike. You know, he he said not to tell the other ones, not to tell Lucas and Dustin, because he's just like they won't get it, they wouldn't get it. But Mike does. Mike's a good friend. Mike's a good friend. You know, he he is a little moody. I will say that Mike is a pretty moody kid. But when he is a good friend, he's a great friend. And then Steve and Nancy they got into a little fight at the party. Nancy got fucking super drunk she got super plastered and she she said a lot of stuff she said she said a lot of stuff you know now i don't know if she meant it or not really maybe she was just drunk and she's frustrated that she can't do anything about barb and her parent barb's parents and everything she just feels super bad and so she kind of just let it all out all of it at once but she did say the love between her and steve is bullshit and it's not real and that really hurt steve's feelings it hurt a lot now I don't know if she actually feels that way or not, but I do know when you drink, you do feel, you do, you say what you're really fucking thinking, you know, you don't hold anything back because you're drunk and you don't care. So maybe she does kind of mean it, but regardless, I really hurt Steve's feelings. And yeah, now I feel kind of bad for Steve. Like I, in the very beginning, dude, we hated Steve. And now we sympathize for Steve. They fucking got us. They fucking got us. <laughs> watch they're probably gonna do the same shit with billy like they're making billy look like such a fucking asshole you know just such a piece of shit but then as the season goes on we're gonna start to feel like we're start to like relate to him more and like and start to like him a lot more and feel bad for him when shit happens you know and then at the very end dust okay so he heard the thing in his trash can again but this time he actually looked at it and they're like bro yeah it's not his fucking cat but like they didn't show us what it was it left us on a fucking cliffhanger um, I mean, dude, it didn't sound like anything I, I recognize, so I'm assuming it's like a little mini, like, Demi-Gorgon or something. Like, it literally has to be. Like, it fucking has to be. It, didn't, it doesn't sound like anything recognizable. It doesn't sound like a raccoon or anything. So, I don't know. But anyways, that was Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 2. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.